Welcome to today's lesson on Angles Review. Today we are going to be discussing acute, right, and obtuse angles. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin today by reviewing this diagram on the screen that is full of angles. Now remember, this is Angles Review, so let's review what an angle is. An angle is two rays that meet at a center point that is called the vertex. To measure an angle, we are going to be using a protractor today. A protractor is going to help us find the exact degree the angle is. Now here, we have an angle that is on a straight line. An angle on a straight line has a measure of 180 degrees. So if we were to add up angles A, E, B, angle B, E, C, and angle C, E, D, the sum of these three angles would equal 180 degrees. Let's begin by measuring angle C, E, D. When you're measuring an angle on a protractor, your first step is to line up the vertex with the angle with the center of the protractor. Then you have to make sure that one of your rays is lined up exactly at the zero degree mark on the protractor. Since this angle is facing to the right, we are going to start at the zero degree mark on the outside of the protractor. Now we're going to follow all the way up until we get to the second ray of this angle. That stops at 50 degrees. That means the angle CED has a value of 50 degrees. Any time an angle has a value that is less than 90 degrees, it is going to be an acute angle. So angle CED is an acute angle. Let's move on and let's find the measure of angle AEB. Now notice, this angle is facing to the left. So we have our vertex lined up and we have our left hand ray also lined up with a zero degree mark. But notice, the zero degree mark on the protractor to the left starts on the inside of the angle. So we're going to follow the inside of the protractor all the way up until we stop at our second ray at exactly 90 degrees. Now you're also going to notice that there is a square that is in the corner of this angle. When you see a square that's in the corner of an angle, that represents that it has a value of exactly 90 degrees. We call these a right angle. That leaves us with one missing angle, angle B, E, C. Let's do a little bit of math here. We know that the sum of all three angles has a value of 180 degrees. If we already know that angle A, E, B has a value of 90 degrees, and we know that angle C, E, D has a value of 50 degrees, we can find our missing angle. So we know that angle B, E, C has to have a value of 40 degrees because these angles are all on a straight line. All right, we've checked out an acute angle. We've looked at a right angle. I think it's time we investigate an obtuse angle. To investigate an obtuse angle, we are going to look at angle A, E, C. Now notice that once again our vertex is lined up at the center of the protractor. Our left hand ray is lined up perfectly on the bottom of our protractor and this angle is facing to the left. So we are going to follow the inside of the protractor all the way until we get to our second ray. That leaves us at exactly 130 degrees. Now be careful. Sometimes people can get confused between the inside and the outside of the protractor. If you follow the obtuse angle all the way around to the second ray and you look and say this angle is 50 degrees, that wouldn't make much sense because we know that 50 degrees would be an acute angle and this angle is much larger than an acute angle. So whenever you're using a protractor, make sure that you check your work and that it is reasonable. Since angle AEC is 130 degrees, we call this an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. 
We are going to use this image of a die on our screen to be able to look at some different angles. This die is full of angles. Let's focus on one specific angle though. We are going to be looking at this angle. What measurement does it have? Well, it looks like an acute angle because it looks like it could be less than 90 degrees, but we are going to use a protractor to check our work. Now it's important that we remember when we're using a protractor that we always have to line up the vertex of our angle with the center of the protractor and make sure one side of the angle is measuring at zero degrees. Now our protractor is tilted sideways, so sometimes your angles won't be perfectly straight and that's okay. If we measure this angle following the outside of the protractor because our zero starts on the outside, we stop at 60 degrees. That means that this angle has a measurement of 60 degrees. And since that is less than 90 degrees, this is an acute angle. Let's try another. Look, this diagram is filled with angles. And did you notice that each of these angles have a square in the corner? Remember, when there's a square in the corner of an angle, that means that it is representing a right angle and that right angle is equal to 90 degrees. But we always also want to check our work. So let's go ahead and let's use a protractor to check one of our angles. So I've lined up the vertex of this angle with the center of the protractor. I have my bottom ray on the zero degree line and I'm gonna follow the outside of the protractor all the way until I get to 90 degrees. And look, it is exactly 90 degrees. Let's try another. Nature is amazing and it creates angles around us every single day. Today we're going to be using this banana leaf to try to find a missing angle. Now the stem of this leaf creates a perfect 180 degree line. Now we already have a known angle of 76 degrees, so we're going to search for our missing angle. We know that a straight line is 180 degrees, and if we subtract our known angle of 76 degrees, that will leave us with the missing angle of 104 degrees. But again, we always want to check our work. So let's go ahead and let's use a protractor to try to find the measurement of this missing angle. Now notice that I have set up the vertex of this angle with the center of the protractor, and I've lined up the bottom of the ray with the zero degree, which is on the outside of the protractor. I'm going to follow the outside of the protractor all the way up until we get to our second ray. And we can see that our second ray ends at 104 degrees. So we were able to check our mathematic work using a protractor. Now since this angle is greater than 90 degrees, our banana leaf picture is creating an obtuse angle. Let's take a moment to review what you have learned in today's lesson. A straight line has a measurement of 180 degrees. So whenever you're adding the sum of the angles on a straight line, it should always equal 180 degrees. An acute angle is an angle that measures less than 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is an angle that measures more than 90 degrees. And lastly, we have a right angle. A right angle measures exactly 90 degrees and is often shown by having a square in the corner of that angle.